Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode on Half-Life Opposing Force. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on this wonderful game. Ladies and gentlemen, last episode, what I have done is we have uh, dealt with the pitworm's nest area. We have gone through that, we have actually killed the pitworm and he have escaped and we're now on the next chapter, the next area. We are now in chapter 9, Foxtrot Uniform. And, well, I don't know anything about this chapter apart from the fact that it's probably going to be something to do with the military, since both Foxtrot and Uniform are military words, part of the military alphabet, actually. Therefore, there's probably going to be some form of military combat in this chapter, so we're probably going to be fighting those ninja traitors again, which should be quite interesting. So that means we might get teammates again, so that should be fun. Anyhow, let's hop on in to Chapter 9, Foxtrot Uniform. And basically start up where we finished off last episode. And we can also go and head back. And I'm going to go and show you the area where we were in last episode. And just show you how that whole area looked like. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Just probably show you the pitworm's dead body. If it's still there. It might not be there. We'll see. But, um, yeah. We'll go and we'll do just that. We will, yeah, simply begin the next chapter. Should be quite fun. The Pitworm's next chapter was very short, because we completed it in just one episode. Last episode we begun it, and completed that whole chapter. It was quite short, but it was quite fun. We went and we battled a Pitworm, and now we're in this area. This weird tunnel thing of the little barnacle boys. The chapter, Foxtrot Uniform, literally begins on the other side of that door. So, we're basically at the very beginning of Chapter 9, Foxtrot Uniform. Which is kind of cool. But like I said, I'm really going to go back to show you the area from the ending of Pitworm's Nest. And then you can head on forward and we can deal with this next chapter. So, yeah. We go back for here. Yeah. When you save the game here, you, you save it in Pitworm's Nest. When you go over here, this is where the game says like, oh yeah, hey, you're in chapter 9 now. So yeah, we're basically at the very, very, very beginning. Yeah, now as you can see, we're back in, um... We're back in the Pitworm's Nest area. Well, I mean, there's still a loading screen, but yeah. Now we're in the Pitworm's Nest area. The area. This is the whole... Yeah, this is where the Pitworm was, basically. And actually, oh, look at that. You can actually still see the... Um, not the bullet holes, but the... The damage holes is what the Pitworm made when he was firing at us. Because, obviously, we were hiding from his attacks behind that thing right there. So you can see all the holes that were made on that panel from his attacks. That was very interesting. So, uh, yeah, this is the area where he was. The pitworm was right here, basically. The pitworm was... Oh, great heavens. Well, now I'm dead. <laughs> God, that did not go well. But yeah, that's basically where the pitworm was. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <coughs> yeah, this was the pitworm's nest. Don't mind me whilst I'm casually dying. This is his nest. He was just vibing here. And he had a whole battle with him. We flooded this area of acid and we killed him. And yeah, that is that. That is a pretty cool chapter. I just think I can go to the very beginning of this chapter because that's just how short it is. I think the chapter begins. Hold on, we gotta go through this place again. Yeah, but I think the chapter journey begins like, um. Yeah, like right here. Yeah, this is the beginning room of the chapter. You literally get thrown out from there. And, like, the G Man is still here. Wow. The G Man has just been standing here. Well, ever since. He's just literally vibing. So you start a chapter when you come out from that. So that's the shortest chapter is. It starts literally in this room and it goes and it ends basically in the room where I started up the episode. Yeah, it starts down there and it finishes basically right past that door over there. So it's a very short chapter. I probably would have been able to clear it in like 10 seconds because I just made it from the chapter's beginning to the chapter's end in literally 10 seconds. But the reason that this chapter took like a whole episode to complete is because obviously there's a massive pitworm rider right standing, so it took the hell up took the whole episode to take him down. And once you finally did, once the pitworm was finally dead, then you unlock the exit. So the area itself takes ten seconds to traverse through. But the battle against the pitworm took a whole episode. So it was quite fun. Because I enjoyed it. It was a pretty cool battle. But now we're in this area, we are now in chapter nine, Fox Trot Uniform. The wisps that I keep on talking about were flying through this area that actually came out of that uh, tunnel thing right here. And they went over through that thing over there. So you clearly got to go over there. And you clearly got to go and follow the wisps and see where they lead us. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I guess we're going to go kill the Barney boys. Because I'm thinking nobody likes them. They're ugly like hell. 
And yeah, we're gonna go forth, basically. See what's here. Yeah, my god, that doesn't look healthy. Down here we got just some water. It's really barney boys. Where This water looks actually very clean, very nice on the surface. But when you go underneath it, got this stuff. Oh, I just, yeah. Mm. I fired my gun, and I kind of forgot that you instantly die when you fire this gun in water. Like, you go in, you just press the left button. Instant death. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Um, yeah, whoopsie daisies. Anyway, uh, whatever. We're just gonna, yeah, ignore that fact. Forget about the fact that it's gonna absolutely pose it. Anyway, also, uh, that's here. We kind of go up there, but that's just where the wisps are going. It's kind of interesting. And look at this. This area is massive. It looks like we're gonna have to go and make use of the um, Barnacle Boy gun over here. I just don't actually call it Barnacle Boy, but I just call it that because why not? But you're gonna have to go and make use of this guy right in that area, which should be quite interesting. So that'll be quite cool. So why is this game so loud? A lot of volume area. But that'll be fun using the Barnacle Boy. Yeah. Also, you go and kill that mofo in the area. Now, is there anything else in here? No. Oh, so you can use the right click attack of this weapon in the water. All it does is just. Well, nothing. But you can use the left click because that just kills you. And I'm stuck. Wow. Um, oh, never mind. I'm out. You know, it's just gonna be faster if I just do that. Yeah. And then I just proceed to go back for this area again. Then it will be, in fact, much faster. Much quicker. Much more efficient. Another game feels way too quiet. Like, God almighty. Can't find the medium. That's actually better. Rather than, um, what's through here? Oh, God. All those guys. Never mind. He didn't even fight back. He just stood there and died. Oh, man. Took it like a champ, I guess. God, that. Alright then, grab all of you. Beautiful. I'm right, getting back this thing. Alrighty, then. Cool, it's just help that I don't need. Alright, great. Now then, we gotta go up here, I guess. Yeah, still gonna get some ammo for the fish. That's quite cool. So we gotta go up there, and we gotta use the barnacle gun, because there's obviously no way that you can actually get up there by normal means. So we're using the Barney Boy, which is good, because these things actually give you, as you can see, the ammunition for the fish gun. And it's infinite, so we're gonna get a lot of ammo for that gun right now, which is kinda cool actually, because it's kinda like the fish gun, so... But basically, free ammo for the fish gun, which is always a great thing. Now then, grab me that, beautiful. Right here, now we're gonna go over here. The mistaken, this is in fact, yes, a sheer drop of death and doom. So that should be fine, because I can do is I can get myself over here. Never mind, I just broke my legs, okay, great, try that again, shall we? Get down through here, grab the health. Cheers, and yes, try that again, because that did not end out so well, not good. Really. No, really. Let's go and grab you, and you're on the way. Good. Now, I think what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go up here. Yeah, that's slightly better. Right, oh, yeah, that worked out. No, that didn't. It's gonna work, but I kind of was launched by the barnacle gun, so it did not work all that well. But oh well, who really cares. Up we go, there, yeah, now it worked. Let's go and grab you as well. Kind of like that, it's really good. beautiful. Now then, here we are, we're over here, that is a pretty cool barnacle section. Anything down here? No, just the lamps and- Oh, look at that! That's the surface! I've not been on the surface for a really long while. Like, no, it's seriously been a lot of episodes since I've actually been on the surface. As the last episode is the whole Pitworm's Nest area. Before that, we had the whole Biodome area, so we've been underground for at least a good, I don't know, five episodes, maybe? I think I'm over exaggerating, but still, it's been a long while since we were outside, since we actually had a breath of fresh air, since we actually touched grass. So it'd be quite cool to actually go up, so, yeah, I guess let's, uh, let's go then, shall we? Let's go and touch grass, but I mean, there is no grass in this place, so I guess what we're gonna touch is just air, well, sand, theoretically. Here we are. Look at this, there's a military truck over there. What is it doing? Oh, it's the, oh, okay, great. Well, I wasn't wrong in saying that I'm going to be fighting those guys again. It's those uh, military guys. Oh, love God, I just lost all my health. It's going to be those military boys again. The, uh, yeah, the ninja traders. So, when I said I'm going to be fighting them, we weren't. I wasn't wrong. We actually are fighting the ninja traders in this episode. So, yeah, I was right. Because, you know, it's called Foxtrot Uniform. Like I said, that's a military term. So, it makes sense we're fighting military people. So, the ninjas. So, cool. We're fighting them. Which is actually quite cool indeed. Um, I mean, all that's going to mean is that... We just have some more difficult enemies to go up against, which is fine, because all the previous enemies we were fighting were basically useless. Like, the Pitworm didn't really put up much of a fight, all the other enemies are basically weak. Like, the only actually real tough enemy was the enemy that dropped me this gun that I'm currently holding, and even he got bozoed quite quickly, so... We're finally gonna have some difficult combat again, which is quite cool. That reminds you of, like, episode 6, I think that was, when we were actually fighting these guys for the first time. That was cool, yeah. Anyway, let's go and let's scrap them, shall we? I managed to kill quite a few of them before I kind of bozoed myself, but yeah. Fire up there, because I know that I spawn right there. Actually, no, they all run away. Wow. 
And then now they're gonna probably run over here to me. Yeah, there they are. Show me how you set your gun. Hooah. Okay, that's one down. Beautiful. Hold on. Wait. Ah, oh, shit. Be God damn, reload you. Uh, then now, come here. Yeah, but you're dead. And also, something big just blew up. My god, come here. Come here. Die. Ha. Huh. We're not looking at him. Mofo. Right then, so we're out here. That's the struggle. That's some weird switches, some weird lights. That's the place that I came from. It's a bit peculiar that um they were just waiting here for me. Like, how did you know I was going to come flying out of that vent? Like, it's slightly sus. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. It's as if they were waiting for me. Maybe they love me. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Look at that. That is the machine gun and we're finally gonna get it as an actual weapon oh glorious day we've seen this weapon before one of our military teammates that uh, we had to abandon because he couldn't come with us he had that weapon and i mean i could have killed him and taken the weapon there but i didn't actually want to take that weapon from him i don't want to kill him i wanted to wait till i got this weapon legitimately by the game you know i wanted to wait for the game to give me it and here it is it's right there for us to take the day is finally here this is the combat machine gun that I'm about to get. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Look at this thing. Like, look at it. It has 50 bullets in the mag, 100 bullets spare. This is the greatest weapon of my life. Oh, we've also got spare um, satchel charges. Oh, this is this is genuinely great. Like, what is it? What happens when you right click? Nothing. There's no right click attack. But the left click. Let's look at it. Ah, just look. <laughs> Firstly, that is absolutely beautiful. Secondly, the reload animation is quite cool and quite fast. But yeah, it's very powerful. Shoots for quite a long while. The sound it makes is quite cool. But it also moves us back. Like we get actually, I, I didn't move at all. I didn't touch my you know keyboard at all. The gun itself moved me back, which is quite cool. Does it actually make me go flying? No. I can just go side to side. Side to side. Well, I mean, I just get pushed back by this gun. Oh, this is so cool. I can physically move around with it. I can kind of move forward with it as well, but oh, it's great. It absolutely is great. It goes right here next to the gun, the Zen gun. Oh, that's so cool. Genuinely, gotta love it. Like, physically, you have to love it. Oh, anyway. <laughs> oh, what have I? Oh, I've actually, oh my god, I've actually broken the game. I don't know how I've done it, but I've broken the game. I've launched my body up to an area where I'm not supposed to be, so I've actually broken the game. Wow, what a thought. Cool, so now we're in this area. There's more ninja. Oh, God. I don't want to get bows over those guys yet. I clearly want to go and play around with the explosives. But they've got their own machine gun turret over there, which is kind of annoying. But, I mean, hey, fine. I've got my own as well. So, yeah, it goes right there, which is quite cool. Anyway, firstly, I want to go to Zen. See where that takes me. Secondly, I want to go and mess around with the fact that these explosives can take me whenever I want to. And now we're here. I remember this place. We've really been here before. This is where we rescued that scientist bloke. Yeah, I remember this place. There's nothing here. Genuinely nothing. And it takes me just back here, apparently. So in other words, it's not that interesting. Second of all, these explosives can fling me quite far, if I, especially if I try hard enough for them to do so. So I can kind of go flying, basically. Like, I can ascend to the skies with these boys, which is kind of interesting. Kind of cool. Very cool indeed. If I was just to do that as well. well I managed to just position myself there. And if I was to do this, like, look, my body... Mm, if I position it perfectly, my body will in fact go flying out of bounds, like it did before. Like I'm trying to do that again. Like, it just simply went flying right out of bounds, and that was very. Funny. Like yeah, look, yeah, look, yeah. The whole screen went green. That's how far it flew. That's ah, pretty epic. Anyway, time to go murdering, shall we? <coughs> we noticed some mofo's over there, so um, we're gonna have to go try to kill them. I don't know if this is the best weapon to kill them with, though, because it is not that precise. It's an issue. Huh. Also, actually, wait a minute. We're gonna grab some ammo from down here. I just realized. That you should have done. But you can notice some ammo, some health. But you should grab that, then you can go and move on forward. Because if you don't grab that at health, it's just going to stay there and just be unused. So I might as well actually grab it and use it. And uh, make use of it. And therefore, well, I just might as well use it. If it's here, might as well grab it and use it. It's going to be a waste not to, you know what I mean. Yeah. You go and grab that. Grab all you as well. And just be fly back to where you are. There we are. Radio. Up we go then, and let's, yeah, get to some funny combat, shall we? You might die, um, but that's fine. That's all part of the fun. Let's just open fire on these mofos. Die, you son of a gun. Die. Well, I mean, that worked. The guy is dead. <laughs> I could have shot the explosives. Oh, well. But that's one of these mofos. Wow, this gun actually works. 
Who would have thought it's actually a real gun? Cool. It's very cool. I really like it. It's a very, very cool weapon. Hold on, what am I doing? I just, I just, out of the habit, I just accidentally entered the chat. That was accidental. But yeah, like, oh, this thing doesn't even turn properly. Probably because of this. I don't know. Why can't I turn? Why? Why? Hold on a minute. I can't actually turn the gun. Oh, there no. I kind of moved it down. Why? That's awfully broken. Yeah, this area seems to be very broken. Like this gun. Like it ain't working, man. Like this, this gun over here has been dropped by this guy. I can't. Hold on. If I was to just sort of fire you, there you reload you. Let's be able to pick up this, right? No, it's still hold on. Fire a bunch of you out then. Hold on, can I? No, that was gone. Well, this area is bugging out, bro. Like, seriously, it's bugging out, man. It's a bit strange. Yeah. I surely hope I saved after killing that guy. I did not. Oh, great heavens. Well, time to do that again, shall we? <coughs> Die, you son of a gun. There you go, he's dead. That is cool, though. That is very cool indeed. Yeah, I can't use that gun. It's broken as hell. Whatever. Now then, what's through here? We probably gotta go into here. Confined space. Entry can be fatal. Enter by permit only. Well, what am I if I enter and... Oh. Why did that blow up by itself? Oh, they're throwing grenades. That's what. That would make sense. Those boys are tossing nades. That's not good then, shit. Is it? That's some RPG ammunition. But those mofos are just tossing nades. Wow. Alright, cool. Um, We're gonna somehow get past this and all their nades. But yeah, the confined space message. Yeah, I'm gonna totally ignore that. Cause... Do I look like the type of guy who would care about a confined space message? Nah, trust me, I really ain't the guy who would care about a confined space message. So we're gonna go through here. Um, this might not be so easy. Uh, why do you even have the setup like this? I mean, I can kind of go up here. There we go. But why do you have this like that? Oh, my game is frozen. Why is this game freezing? This game's like, what, 20 years old? Oh my god, not 20. Uh, I think like... Well, actually, I think it's 20, you know? It's coming up to 20, this game's age. It's a pretty old game, but it's a pretty cool game. So, you know what? I'm not complaining. And also, it just froze there again as well. Like, no, seriously, you'd never liked like this before. What the hell is this? I'm running at a smooth 60 frames per second like I should be able to. But still, come on, why is this game lagging? Also, there's explosive there. Can you like, hold on a minute? I'm just trying to fix my game, bro. Like, calm the hell down. God almighty, these guys are so impatient. I can just like break this box area. Was there anything in that? Not a thing, great. What is that mofo doing? Oh, I'm still throwing nades. Like, I swear to God, stop throwing those grenades. You over there, die. Area. God. My, this is truly a pro gamer moment. Come here. Come here. No, dude, dude, what are you doing? Dude, dude. Dude, how much health do you have? Like, I swear to God, where are you? Come here. There, yeah, that did the trick. Radio, now we're out here. You can find space. Truly, nobody cares. <coughs> right. Okay, this is these mofos have been murdered. That's just part of the facility. Yeah, I mean, you can see how secure this facility was, like, physically. Uh, there is a lot of barbed wire and a lot of security on this facility, so... Clearly, they didn't really like people breaking in, huh? Yeah. It sounds like somebody's breaking in. There's a storm dick. Calm down. <laughs> right, nothing through there. That guy's just dead. Okie dokie. Time to go. Kind of go through there. We gotta go through here. Wow, this looks like a great area, doesn't it? Um, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's just run it in. That seems like a great idea. <coughs> Alright, cool. This other oh, something needed the tower. Okay, now we're in here. Oh, oh, it's Boyos. Let's hey, man, go. Yeah, oh, man. I can't believe you made it past those mass freaks. Those snipers have pinned us down here pretty good. We tried making a break for it, but they know we're here. They're just waiting for their shots, and those bastards are patient. Huh. So there's snipers up ahead. Great, but at least we have more friends, more uh, more Boyos to run around. If that's epic. So now we have a shotgunner and a main soldier. But apparently, yeah, they're gonna go out here with me pinned down by snipers. Yeah, where are... So, oh, yeah, that's a sniper. Oh, my god. Yeah, okay, we got the point. Okay, cool. So we have snipers up there. Nice, gotta love it. What else is inside of here? They got ammunition of all kinds. Basically a storeroom. Alright. I mean, I'm basically kind of falling. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come down. Oh, there's mobiles up there trying to kill us. Yo, dude, stop. I just hit my... Oh, hold on. I'm hitting my teammates. I don't want to do that. So we're gonna go and load in to before I did that. But yeah, we have some boys out here, which is kind of cool. Some more, you know, amigos, more friends. Can you let me through? There we go. Hey, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, cool, they're patient. Truly nobody cares. Now then, we gotta go, for love of God, I'm gonna restart the game, because this is lagging so badly, I swear to God. Alright, there we go, we have returned. Alright, cool. Yeah, the game has been restarted, it should now be working fine. That's because you go and save the game just to find out. If we save the game and already lagged, now it doesn't lag as much. Yeah, it's better. Alright, cool, 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 chill. I just restarted the game and it seems to be working a bit better. So, yeah. Alright, so we have some enemies up ahead, and there's quite a few of them. So this should be fun. Now, I don't even want you mofos to get killed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab both of you and just make you stand over here. Then I'm going to go in there and kill everybody solo because I kind of want to keep you alive. So come with me. You got it, Corporal. I'll and you come right with me too. Right away, sir. Yeah, come with me. And just, yeah, stand over here. Yeah, you stand over here. Also, how come everybody knows my name and rank? Okay, sure. We can do more damage that way. No, stand here. Duty, yeah. yeah. I'll stay here and await further orders. Yeah, they can just stay there. And I'm going to go and best of all these bozos out here. Because there's quite a few of them. So... Save the game, and let's think of this. There's a guy over here. He's gonna go murder. He's dead, good. And what about anybody else? It's gonna be more coming. So we're gonna be ready for them. Alright, then there's another guy coming over there. Okay, yeah, come here. Truly, come here, come here. Come here, there we are. Now then. I can only read dispatch of one guy at a time with this weapon. Due to the fact that it's kind of, um... It's, uh, it doesn't have much ammunition. runs out of it very quickly. By the time it reloads, yeah. So it's basically a, um... One guy, one guy per go each time. I'm gonna kill more, more than one person per go, because yeah. Oh, there's, those are the snipers. Okay, we've definitely found the snipers. Those of them weren't snipers. Those were just normal soldiers. Those of there are snipers. So we gotta go and deal with them. Yeah, he should be up here, right? Apparently. Yeah, there he is. Come here. Yeah, no, you're dead. Ah! Haha! -ha. He dropped the sniper rifle. Oh, let's go. So we got a new weapon. We got the sniper rifle. Oh, that's epic. That's actually epic. We used the sniper rifle weapon in the uh, in the testing boot camp area. Testing boot camp area. In the boot camp, yeah. When we were in the boot camp, we were given this gun for uh, for training. That's very cool. So yeah, we already used the sniper rifle before. We already know it works. That's quite epic. That guy's dead. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now that we actually got the sniper rifle, we can really pack a punch, especially for enemies from further away. So cool. Cool, I already wanted the sniper rifle, now we got it. Which is good, I wonder where we're gonna get it, because we were, you know, given it quite early on in the boot camp, and we only got it to actually use it in the actual real game just now, so. Gave it to us slightly late, but I mean, hey, whatever. Not gonna complain. There's a lot of explosives over here, I don't know why they set up so many, but I mean, I guess they kinda wanna blow everybody up, huh? Yeah, that was the guy over there. You can, like, not. <laughs> that sure as hell works. <laughs> Man, we're gonna fucking kill these mofos easily. Oh, they're blowing something up. Alright then, great. Well, let's must have a go at this one. Oh, I get no scope. Oh! That's a grenade, I'm quite certain. Okay, great. Been blown up by these mofos. I don't see anybody in this area. Alright, great, great, great. Is anybody in here? Just that guy over there. Yo, we <laughs> Oh, the sniper rifle is great. Alright then, switch back. That's the wrong weapon. Switch back to you. Actually, you went over here. Just enough. Switch back to you and it can use you for a bit. And what happens if I was to blow you up? Just find out. You just blow up. Okay. Wow. Who would have thought? Alright then, explosives explode. Good to know. Now, what's inside of this warehouse thing? Uh, I guess more guards? No, not a soul. Oh, I'm ammunition for the uh, machine gun thing. And for the Zen gun. Cool. What happens if I actually go to Zen here and move to a new place that you can go to? Let's find out. And we're, nope, still back here. Great. Not a spot now, wasn't it? Yeah, alright, cool. Let's just, yeah, might as well just not blow through that. Might as well not do that. It's a waste of, I mean, to be honest, we, ah, whatever. We have just more energy for that gun now. 20% more power. It doesn't really make much difference. Now this over here, we go and blow it up. There we are, more shield. Oh, there's another mofo over there. That gets you in a combat roll. And then just stop moving. Okay, great. He does a funny combat roll, and then just stands still, and allows me to kill him. What a fool. Alright then, the other guy scored a grenade, okay, hold on a minute, yeah, come here, try gun, time. Where the hell did he go? There we are. Oh, he just, yeah, he just blew up. I don't know how you think, I don't know how you blew up, I shot him, and then the guy literally explodes. Like, what the hell, man? I don't know that these guys were explosive, there's more of them coming. God almighty, come here. How, 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 how. There we are, mofo got wrecked. And the zoomer's supposed to go under there. We're supposed to go under that warehouse, but I've left my boyos behind, so I want to come back for them now, because I only want to abandon them. But yeah, cool. Yeah, we're making some good progress, i got to say. Alright then, let's go back, pick up the boys. 
And I guess then we're gonna keep on heading through into that area over there. Yeah. Right here then. Now, what's through here? I mean, there's still these explosives over here, which I mean, they don't really do much good. Yeah, that didn't go to plan a bit. I mean, that explodes the whole facility. Wow. So if we actually, yeah, if we, if we set up those explosives that blows up the whole area and actually makes us fail the mission. That's interesting. I'm sure I can probably get through that with a very calculated crouch jump, but I mean, it's a waste of time. There's no need to do that when I can just do that. Oh, that still blows up the whole area. Wow. All right, noted. Cool, 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 cool then. Uh, we can though, just, yeah. Take the normal route without blowing ourselves up. Should be also feasible. Yeah, but there's so many explosives here, like, my god. Anyway, there's another door over here. Oh, for the love of god. Alright, try that again. And again, 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 I mean. Like, again, 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 because we just blew ourselves up. Again. Just slightly unfortunate. Anyway, let's just, yeah, go again, shall we? Righty. Now, uh, that's where the boys are in there, and I want to go and see what's through here. So I'm going to go and perform a tactical maneuver called a tactical roll, then a tactical jump, and there's nothing here. Wow, what a waste of time. I'll then perform that maneuver once more, let's go and come back for the boys. Yo, gentlemen. Uh, are you ready to come with me? Sure, you hope you are. Come on then. Yeah. You coming? Yeah, let's go then, gentlemen. We're going through. I've already killed everybody here, and also murdered the sniper that got you pinned. So... You basically won't do any good, like, I'm only bringing you just so you're here, not that you're actually gonna help me. You basically are useless, that's what I'm saying. But I mean, hey, if that's not gonna motivate you, I don't know what will. Also, where's the other guy? I mean, you're here, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, there he is. Come on, you're taking your time, mate. Come, come on, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna go into, uh, this area over here, I'd assume. I oh, forgot, I'm stuck in the sandbag. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go into this warehouse. I don't know what's inside of this warehouse, far from, I guess, just people... Who wanna kill us? So, yeah, let's jump right on in, shall we? Oh, that's a very boring warehouse. Are you coming? No, sure us have taken their time, but they're coming. All right, good, fine. It's probably gonna be people in here that are gonna be quite close to us, so. Oh, loading screen. Great, gotta love those. Most interesting part of the game, you know, when the game loads in the next area. It's very, very interesting, yeah. All right, are you coming? Uh, surely up, so, oh, the game's freezing again. Okay, man, this is a massive warehouse. I know there's a lot of gunfire. Like, there's a lot of gunfire. Like, my god, what's going on in there? Save the game. Oh, is there? Oh, I know it's a Zen monster. It's the guy with this gun who's, yeah. But there's a whole fight against this guy. That mofo just got murdered. Yeah, that, man, that guy was a fight in the military, man. Oh, this is getting interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, uh, you boys ready? You sure look ready. Out of them. Uh, oh, what's, what's going on in here, then? Is that everybody? That's loading, dog. I mean, that guy just... Yeah, okay, kill you over there. Beautiful, you're dead. Right here, then. What's through here? That guy's dead. Was he killed by the gun? Like, by, by the living gun? I think so, you know. Surely seems like he did. Is that it? Is that whole loading, dock? It's a very boring loading, dock. That's the case. It's just helping you, which I already am full on. Wow, best loading, dock ever. There was a lot of enemies here, all that it was here was just the- Oh god, it's- Oh yeah, never mind, there's a few enemies there. Okay, kill that bofo that one actually. Yeah. Jesus one shot, Christ. One kill. Yeah, I didn't know he was actually there. Yeah, I didn't know that guy was there, so, um, yeah, man. That guy made a spoo, didn't he? Man. I actually unfortunately hit the, uh, the shotgunner with my laser rifle. He should be fine, this weapon doesn't deal that much damage. He definitely lost a bit of health due to that, but I mean, hey, at least he survived, so. Actually, maybe he didn't. Maybe he got hit by the, um, what's his name? Maybe he got hit by the, by the other guy, because the other guy had the same weapon as me, so yeah. Also, I think we're supposed to leave these guys here anyway, because I think we're supposed to go down this ladder here. Which, obviously, they cannot follow me, so I think we're supposed to leave them now anyway, so. These guys literally were only with me for one section, and then they're already being abandoned. Wow, those guys were with me for a while then, weren't they? Because we cannot go through here, can we? No, kind of go through there. All right, great. There's nothing else up here. There's nothing in there. Kind of go through there. That's where we came from. So yeah, we're going down there. So gentlemen, it's been fun to uh, fight with you for literally five minutes, but now I gotta abandon you. Maybe I should have actually taken you with me when we're going through the um, the first area, because the only combat encounter we had to get is just that guy over there who we absolutely bozoed. So. Yeah, I kind of didn't use you all that well, but I mean, oh well, whatever, what can I do? You just stay here, I'm going down. Yeah, man, this looks fun. There's literally a burnt body. And there's some 
very strange sound effect. Yeah. Alright, cool. Now here, I guess. Can the boys follow me? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Alright, now we're here. Oh, look at that. That's pure darkness. I ain't going in there. Look at the skeleton, though. <laughs> Yo. But yeah, I ain't going in there. That's way too dark. I... Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have run out of time this episode. Next episode, we will go into the darkness. We will go and see what's through there. But that'll be in the next episode. For now, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. So I guess thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's a pretty good episode today. We uh, yeah, left the pitworms next. And next. We left the pitworms nest. And we have begun chapter 9, Foxtrot Uniform, which is quite cool. We've begun that chapter. And, uh, yeah, it's been a pretty cool chapter so far. We've got ourselves two new weapons today. We've got ourselves a light machine gun, which is absolutely great because it's epic. So, yeah, we used that. And we also got ourselves the sniper rifle. It's also very cool because the sniper rifle is very, very epic. So, we got ourselves, yeah, two new guns. And we had a lot of fun. We found these two mofos we're going to have to go and leave behind now, but that's fine. And we're also, once again, fighting the ninja traitor guys, which is also quite cool. So yeah, very cool episode, but unfortunately, we're going to have to finish it up right here because we have indeed run out of time. And like I said, next episode, we're going to go and head down there and we're going to head into that dark tunnel and we're going to see what's through there. We're going to keep on going through the Black Mesa facility. But that'll be the next episode. For now, thank you for watching and goodbye!